Hi there. Now, I'm going to be doing part B here in this video. Remember, in part A, we had to find the general solution to this differential equation, which I've written out here. Now we've got to go on and find the particular solution to this differential equation, given these conditions. So just give you a moment to pause the video if you haven't had a chance to have a go at this. And when you come back, as usual, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. OK, welcome back then if you had a go. Now, before we start, what I'm going to do is just number that equation 1. We're going to need to work out dy by dx from here. But first of all, we're told that when y equals 0, x equals 0. So let's just put that down first of all, that we're given essentially that y equals 0 when x equals 0. This will allow us to find the constant a. So I'm going to substitute this into equation 1. So if you do that, you're just going to find you've got 0 here. So therefore, 0 equals. I can see that in this bracket here, cosine of 0 is 1, sine of 0 is 0. So we're just left with a times e to the power of 0, which is 1 and then plus 3. And clearly then it follows from here that a must be equal to minus 3. So next I've got to work towards dy by dx. And if we differentiate this, you could put a as minus 3 in here if you want, or you could just leave it as a. I'm just going to leave it as a. I'm going to differentiate then, and we have dy by dx equals... Now, for this first one, we've got to use the product rule. So if I take the first part here, a cos 3x plus b sine 3x, multiply it by the differential now of e to the power minus x, which is minus e to the minus x. And then it's going to be plus, take this part here, e to the minus x, and multiply it by the differential of this part which is going to be minus 3a sine 3x and then plus 3b cosine 3x. OK, so that's the product rule for differentiating this first term here. Differential of 3e to the minus x is just going to be minus 3e to the power minus x. OK, we've now got to work out the constant b, and we can do that quite easily just from this other condition, that dy by dx equals 0 when x equals 0. So let's just put that down, that we're given that dy by dx equals 0 when x equals 0. And if that's the case, let's just number this equation 2, and I'm going to sub this in equation 2. And what does that give us? Well, we're going to have 0 here then. 0 equals... And then you're going to have a times minus 1 here. I can see that because sine of 0 is 0. So you're going to have a times minus 1. And then here you're just going to have 1 times 3b. So it's plus 3b. And then we've got the minus 3 on the end. Now, we know that a is minus 3, so that's going to be 3. So you've just got 3b equals 0. So therefore, from this, it follows that b must be equal to 0, which is quite nice. So therefore, we've got our particular solution now that we've got our values for a and b. So our particular solution, let's just put an intro there, is y equals, and we've got up here, a, which is minus 3, minus 3 cos 3x, and then b, which is 0, so that's gone, times all of e to the power minus x, and then plus 3e to the minus x. I don't like the look of this because you've got a negative value starting this, so I'm going to pull out 3e to the minus x as a common factor, 3e to the power minus x, and then I'm just going to have 1 minus cosine of 3x. OK, 